Hi, my name is Chris from Corey's PC World and today you're going to look at disconnecting your existing dishwasher and installing a new one. Before we start pulling the machine out, what we first need to consider is where the connection points may be. In my example, the dishwasher isn't next to the sink, so the connection points are likely behind it. If you look at where the washing machine is, this is located next to the sink. If your dishwasher is situated in a similar location, quite likely it will be under the sink. Let's have a look at what both of those would look like. If your connections are under the sink, you can see we've got the fill hose there with the same tap on it. If we look around this side, you can see we've got the drain connected there with a Jubilee clamp on it. Use a flathead screwdriver to undo that and the pipe will pull off. This will then be connected in the same way. Once things are identified where the connection points for your machine are, we then need to pull the machine out. I'd recommend disconnecting it before you pull it out, but if that's not possible, as in my case, we need to pull the machine out carefully to make sure we don't snag or kink any pipes. The easiest way to do this is to open the door, place your hands inside the top of the machine, lift up slightly and pull towards you. As you pull it out, be careful not to damage your floor. Make sure to lift up a little bit to lift it over any lip and pull it out gently. Once this has been pulled out, we now have access to the pipes and the electrical connections behind the machine. So we'll look at the connections underneath where the machine was. We've got a water fill pipe. This should be a cold connection. We've got the drainage pipe and we've also got the electrical connection. First thing we need to do is disconnect the electrics. That will unplug. We can then look at disconnecting the water. To do this, we need to make sure it is off. The blue tap turns the water supply on and off. If it's straight in line with the pipe, it means it's on. This will turn 90 degrees. So it's across the pipe, like that. This means the water is off. Now, when you undo this pipe, you will get a small amount of water coming out of it. These pipes can be very tight. Sometimes you might be able to undo them and tighten them back up by hand. Sometimes you may need tools such as grips or a spanner, which in my case I do. We've then got the waste to pull out. This will just pull straight out. Like that. You may get some water coming out of here as well at this point. Little trick what you can do. Get some kitchen paper, fold it up. And you can then put this in the end of it, to try and catch any excess water that will come out. You can move this appliance out of the way, and your new one is then ready for connecting. On the back of your new dishwasher, you've normally got three different connections. The first is the electrical connection, that will come pre installed. Second is your waste pipe, again, that will come pre installed. The only thing you will need to do is connect up your water connection. There's two ends on this you've got a right angle end and a straight end. It needs to be the right angle end that goes into the back of the dishwasher. To do this, simply wind it on clockwise, hand tight, and then just nip it up with a pair of pliers if required. On the back of the dishwasher, there is an L-shaped cutout. The pipe should run along this to prevent it from getting kinked as you push it back. Okay, so we're now ready to connect up your new machine. With this type of drain, when the drain hose is sat in it, we ideally want it sitting about halfway down. So this is where the U-shaped clip comes in. So our pipe needs to be clipped around the back there. So you can take your U-shaped clip, find the open end, push it in, fold it around, and just push it into the opening again. This will then hook down to the drain. And it's sitting around about halfway down. Once that's in, we can connect to the water. On the back of the dishwasher should be the angled end, which means the straight end goes to the water connection on the wall. Just make sure there's a rubber seal in there. That should come fitted from the factory. This will screw on in a clockwise direction. Once that's on, you want it around about hand tight and then just nip it up with a pair of grips if you have them, just to make sure. Once that's on, you can then turn on the water. And you want to check both at that end and on the dishwasher for any leaks. Last thing to do is plug in the electrical socket. As the floor may be slightly wet, just make sure that it hasn't got any water in it before we plug it in. 
And that's it. Your dishwasher is ready to go back in place. Okay, so we've made the connection behind the machine and the machine is ready to be installed in its final location. To push the machine back, push your hands on the side of the unit and push it back into place. As you're pushing it back, be careful not to trap any pipes or kink any pipes and it's in its final position. When you're pushing it back, it may be easiest to push from the sides of the unit rather than the centre. If you push from the centre, you may also damage it. So try and push on the outside where you can. Once it's in its final place, if you need to level it up, you can use the adjustable feet on it and it's ready for testing. Once the new machine's in place, you can turn the power on. You can then choose a quick cycle. On this one, it is the fast wash. We recommend running an empty cycle just to get rid of any debris that's been left in there from the packaging or manufacturing. Press start, and once this has gone through the cycle, it's ready to use.